We've also got the Arkel and the Supreme to kick off. Everyone likes a winner in the first. There's a few handicaps as well. So I'm just going to go through and get the guys' selections for some of the other races. Mick, if you give us a best bet elsewhere on the day, and then maybe a dark one for the handicaps. Yeah, the, the National Hunt Chase is the four-miler. And there's a horse in here I really like. It's a horse called Fox Rock, trained by Ted Walsh. The one thing you've got to look at, there's a lot of people who study stats and look at reasons to back horses, reasons not to. This horse, Fox Rock, is trained by a guy who does not have social runners at the Cheltenham Festival. He's a major player when he brings horses over, as he showed when he won the, the Grand National. I think for me, Fox Rock is Barry Connell, who's got our Connor running as well on the Tuesday. He thinks Fox Rock is his best chance of a winner, and I think that is significant. One for the big races, we always like to start off with a winner in the first, Mick, the Supreme. Notoriously difficult, it's often a graveyard for favourites, so back the favourites at your peril. Yeah, I think, I think there's, there's plenty of my fellow countrymen who'll be coming over with wallets full, and they've got one intention, and that is to cane the bookies on the first day. They want Votour, they want Champagne Fever, they want Hurricane Fly, they want Quivega. They there's going to be so many multiple bets going on a lot of these Irish horses. The bookies will want to get the first one beat. So I think they'll, they'll open their satchels, they'll invite people in with Votour, and if that wins, there could just be a landslide, and everything then that Willie Mullins runs will be backed. But I think the bookies will get the first one beat. I, I, Votour is a smart horse, but every time I look at it, there's chinks in him. I cannot emphasize enough how different it is for some of these Irish horses when they get to Cheltenham this year. That ground is going to dry. That track can dry in three days. And with the weather forecast being like it is, they will start on good to soft. Cheltenham is a graveyard for some favourites. They just cannot cope with it. And I think Votour, he's never experienced anything like this. For that reason, I think he has to be too short. Irving is a horse he's proven. Very good flat horse. He beat Casbah Bliss on the flat. And for me, I think the bookies will make Votour favourite. They'll push out Irving. And I think Irving could end up a good price. Gil Gamboa is an Irish horse that I think he's... Well, I'm not sure, what price is he? 16 to 1. He's a very good each way bet. He won the Pierce Hurdle, which is a rough and tumble handicap. He's got no worries with a, a rough race, which the first race will be. So for me, I think he's a very good each way. Some fella called McCoy rides him, I think. Yeah. He's ridden a few winners. Yeah, I don't know who's harder, McCoy or Gil Gamboa. He's a tough Irish horse. Do watch out for him in the Supreme, and he's 16 to 1. Uh, Bill, for you, one in the big races and one for the handicaps? Um, well, the first day, for a lot of people, it's all about Q Vega, looking for a historic sixth, sixth win in, in the Mayor's Hurdle. I quite like a horse against her. I, I don't think she's any value. If, if Mullins wins the first two or three races, she could be two to one on. She could be two to five. I like a horse called Cockney Sparrow. Each way at eight to one. Ridden by A.P. McCoy. Unbelievably good each way value in, in the mare's hurdle. And the best bet on the opening day for me comes in the last race. It's the rewards for racing handicap. Hey. Cheap plug. Um, Pendra. Charlie Longston will have his first... Cheltenham Festival winner, each way around seven or eight to one, best bet on the first day. Pendra in the last, although that uh, dug me into a bit of a hole on day one. He was, last beaten, year. He was a beaten favourite last outside. year, Bill, wasn't he? He was beaten in the Coral Cup last year. Uh, he won't be beaten this year. Tom, one for the big ones, one for the handicaps. Well, for the big ones, undoubtedly. Mick talking about plane loads of Irish punters uh, descending on Cheltenham f with their wallets absolutely crammed full of euros, desperate to back Votor, uh, one or two Willie Mullins runners in that opening supreme novices hurdle. Do you know what? I think they will collect. And you talk about the cramped conditions at the front of the market. The horse that's favourite now after he won at Kempton the last day is Irving for Paul Nichols. But surely the key form line has got to be... Uh, going back to Leopardstown, the Deloitte Novice Hurdle, uh, that was Vitor comfortably seeing off a former Grade 1 winner in the Tullow Tank. So a very confident selection, Vitor. Uh, one thing Mick has got right, that's Fox Rock in the Four Miler. It's a race which, uh, in times gone by, has been described as like a, a poor man's RSA chase. Well, it's a serious contest in its own right, and clearly the best horse. He's got the gears, he's got the stamina, he's a beautiful jumper. That's Fox Rock, and I know he's only 4-1, to one, but do you know what? Do you want a 25 to 1 loser or do you want a 4 to 1 winner? Because with all the gears that horse has got, his galloping ability, his, suitab his suitability to the ground, the, w the way that Ted Walsh has geared him towards one day, 
uh, four to one actually is a really very good price. So an emphatic selection. I'm along with Mick Fox Rock in the four miler.